Well, 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 what's going on, y'all? It is I, some Joe Schmo here, and we are back with Cobra Kai Season 4. It's been quite some time, y'all. I can't think of the last time I actually watched an episode of Cobra Kai. I mean, now that I'm saying it, it was like, you know, Season 3 finale, but, you know, still, that's besides the point. A lot has gone on, y'all. We have made some significant progress on this channel ever since we started this Cobra Kai journey of mine. Uh, you know, I owe a lot of credit to the Cobra Kai community, the Karate Kid community in and of itself for just, you know, being with me in those beginning phases of my YouTube adventures, I guess. Um, so I just want to say thank you guys all so much. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting uh, season four. Uh, when is the reaction going to start? You know, I've been juggling a lot of just different reactions throughout these past this past year, I should say. Uh, Psych, Black Sail. So, um, yeah, it's been quite the progress. So we're going to see if we can kind of squeeze these uh, Cobra Kai uh, reactions in somewhere throughout the week. Not really sure when. I'm kind of just recording this on a whim right now because, again, I know a lot of you guys have been requesting it. So, uh, but yeah, just want to say shout out to all the Cobra Kai community. Appreciate it. Except for y'all who uh, have just been reaming me on my uh, next Karate Kid or the, the Jaden Smith Karate Kid. Apparently, I'm a racist for not liking the movie. Uh, but that's besides the point, y'all. Yeah, regardless of whatever it is that you, you like, whatever it is that you fancy, um, you know, just you guys tuning in and just, you know, uh, uh, offering any sort of support, whether good or bad, means a lot to me as long as you guys are just. I guess enjoying the content for what it's worth. Uh, with that being said, y'all, uh, it's been, like I said, quite some time since I've seen this show. Uh, I am going to be doing the re- I know, like, Netflix has a little bit of a recap about season three. You know, I know we kind of ended season three there with uh, Johnny and uh, and good old Danny coming together, forming their own little hodgepodge of karate, uh, going against Kreese. And, you know, from what I uh, uh, remembered from the season three finale, Kreese calling in the one and only- Mr. Silver over here, um, Terry Silver. For those of you who did watch my Karate Kid Three, um, uh, Karate Kid Three reaction, uh, I kind of always joked about like uh, you know Terry Silver being that kind of like comedic or uh, um, kind of over the top sort of villain. You know, Crease was very felt very real grounded, and then you know kind of you know uh, Episode Three, Episode Three, and now that the Star Wars saga, um, you know the third movie kind of felt like. A little bit like over the top, but like it kind of like suited his character well and it kind of suited the Karate Kid franchise, you know, pretty well, just in the sense of, like I said, Kreese being that over the top serious villain. And then now with us, uh, uh, you know, Terry Silver, that maniacal, that uh, um, sort of like, you know, uh, it seems like Kreese is a lot more tame in how he uh, handles his kind of craziness versus like Terry Silver was very much like kind of like, hey, how you doing? Hi, you Georgie sort of mentality. So uh, to see how these guys are going to play off each other and then even see how um, Johnny, because Johnny obviously never really had a scene or interaction with Terry Silver in, um, in the third movie. So I kind of want to see how like, because like, you know, Johnny being probably one of my favorite characters in this series so far um, has been very much, you know, he's he's just a smart ass. He's a straight lace, just like I'm going to tell, tell it how it sees it. So um, my kind of hope is that at least like Johnny calls out like Terry Silver in the sense of like, Yo, you're pretty freaking crazy, dude. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna watch this recap before I go into it. We're gonna be jumping in here into this episode number one, season four, titled, Let's Begin. Or just Terry Silver. <laughs> just immediately coming in with Terry Silver, man. The madman playing a piano. I freaking love it. Beethoven was a little crazy. Look at him. Homeboy was a slaying it. <laughs> Shut up. Is he going to call him back or is that just... Was that the sign, the code sign between him and uh, Kreese? That was, that was a pretty badass intro, dude. That kind of just like speaks in... Uh, it's like indicative of just like his um, his mindset. Many of us used to be enemies, but rivalries don't need to last forever. The All Valley Tournament is just a few months away. And this year... Oh, that's what I was missing, dude. That From that season one uh, of tournament to... Close this whole thing out. There's only one way we're gonna be able to beat them. By kicking their asses so hard, <laughs> they shit mm -hmm. themselves. Wow. We're gonna teach an aggression stronger than anything Cobra Kai can throw at us. Just like oil and water, these two teaching met uh, methods, dude. <laughs> I just wanna see how this is gonna clash with each other. We are going to respond to what they do. Eagles do not respond. They swoop down and take whatever they want. In a measured and organized approach. We bite first. Do eagles bite? I thought eagles Heck, I guess if they have fangs, yeah, that would be. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, there we go. 
it's crazy how many, uh, how these nerds have like grown a little bit, man. Oh, sh oh, into the rock. Why do you have a rock in the middle of your- <laughs> <laughs> For the feng shui, feng shui. That's it, I'm circling. Is that all they're gonna do is just circle or? All right, why don't you do something? What the hell is it? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> It doesn't matter how many times you've done it, you always need to practice your- Yo, does Danny ever use any of these cars or are they just like, I, I guess they're like kind of like prized possessions so it's more for like display? If you'd have handled your business, we would have won that fight. Okay, whatever. Hockey okay. Swiss sides. Yeah, Miguel just got out of a wheelchair and he still <laughs> kicked your ass. <laughs> yeah, true. I mean, that's like playing Starcraft with a handicap. I've never played Starcraft with a handicap. I've never played Starcraft in general. I don't know where the hell that reference came from. Well, you can crash here as long as you want. This was a bad idea. I know Cobra Kai helped when I was getting jumped in juvie, but I am not gonna be a pawn in this bet that you made with my dad and Mr. LaRusso. I don't think of you as a pawn. I like how he still calls him Mr. LaRusso. Like, you know, there's some, still some respect there, you know? You've got even more talent than your father. You just need to show it to the world. After everything that's happened, do you think I care about a stupid trophy? It's not about the trophy. It's about respect. It's about being a champion. Or that too, <laughs> yeah, me and Chris have different philosophies. It's a little. Cobra Kai shits ought to be locked up, especially that Tori psycho. If anyone deserves no mercy, it's her. Gotta say, Tori, yeah, started to really dislike her last season as a character. And again, I, I know maybe this show sometimes might not cater to, you know, me as an adult because if there is a little bit of that, you know, uh, high school drama and I get high school, you know, feelings and shit, but like, oh, dude, Tori, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> it's like straight up, man. Like, uh, I mean, but I felt the same way about Johnny and like Karate Kid 1, right? It's like, you're doing such a good job at convincing me of your character that I, like, as a character, hate you. <laughs> Do you really think Chris is gonna shut down Cobra Kai if he loses? We got LaRusso 2.0 fighting for us. And once he loses, it won't matter if he welches. Everyone Damn, yeah, that's, will see. that's a lot of pressure, huh? Yeah, thanks, Dad. That's what I, exactly what I need to live up to your legacy. Like, see, that's the thing that Danny didn't have, in, at least in the first one. He fought because, like, you know, nothing was on the line. It was just... Mr. Miyagi teaching him, and now it's like Tori, uh, or sorry, Sam has like this added pressure, this added, le uh, added legacy on top of it all. So, how was the big first day? Work in progress. I'm happy you and Daniel are working together. I just want to make sure Mickey's safe. I said that my back's in better shape than ever, okay? You don't have to worry. She's your mom, she's always- Oh, I thought my man was rock rocking a little uh, goatee, but <laughs> that was just a, a scar, <laughs> or a wound, or a, 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 a scab there. I mean, I'm not the only one who's getting back together with an ex, huh, Sensei? He had a date with the love of his life. Uh, um, uh, yo, bail out, <laughs> bail out, <laughs> hit the eject seat. We took all those cool pictures. Bro. I mean, not to say that you didn't look cool already, but we had to look special well, for the special lady. Miguel, let's go ahead to teach you lesson number one in being a wingman. Do not bring up my ex in front of your mother. Come on, man. Although it could play into his favor, she might get jealous now. Mm. Carmen, on the night of what happened at the LaRusso house, I was coming to see you because- Sorry. I- I think it's better that we don't rush into anything with everything that's happened and everything that's still happening. Although, yeah, to be fair, yeah, she kind of did like, ri like rip into him and pretty much like break it off once Miguel got to the hospital. So I, I'm... Yeah, look at this shambling man, Crease. Oh, is he just gonna appear? He's just, he's like, Terry, why are you hanging up on me? I thought we were friends. Wow, look at this man. With the turquoise suit and everything, woo! And my God, did Crease age way better than Terry Silver? <laughs> Girl, I just want to catch up, you know, for old times. Say, oh, uh, oh, wow. Okay, oh, I, I guess things have changed. It's a friend of mine. Hi, I'm Cheyenne. Pleasure. So, Terrence. Was my man just like a tycoon over here, throwing beach parties and shit? No, we're not married. Terrence and I are enjoying the journey for now. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Gene Simmons, calm down. Great. How about a mimosa? Damn. How about two? Ooh. Hey, ooh, living life, huh? This can't be this easy, right? Like, Terry's like, Terry was kind of like a little maniacal back in the day. So, I, uh, unless like that's, that would be a pretty big shock if they uh, revealed that he turned over a new leaf or was a lot more like tame. So we've discussed it and come up with a solution. We're gonna divide and conquer. Now we're stronger working together. We're still working together. Just separately. On opposite ends of the dojo. <laughs> same, same, but different. I mean, can't you just like bring kids in and out of different groups and teach them different things? And you know, it's like high school. 
different classes. Hawk, since you're new to Eagle Fang, come on up. Yes, that's it. Respect, buddy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, we're gonna practice our front sweeps on Hawk. I know it was a dick, <clears throat> but I'm sorry. Talk is cheap. Shut up and dance. Penis breath, you're up. And my man's still being called penis breath. <laughs> I say that this show's like, this show's like catered to like, you know, maybe not my demographic, high school drama, but yeah, I still laugh at, you know, penis breath though. So I guess, <laughs> I guess what's that say about me, huh? Yeah, dude, what do you got? What, 45 pound plates? What are you benching nowadays? Looks like you've upgraded from that, running 140? away to hiding. I don't remember seeing you at the fight. What were you even thinking? That you'd break into the LaRusso's and hurt Sam and then everything would be sunshine and roses? Girls like Sam LaRusso think the whole world revolves around them. All she has to do to get what she wants is make a puppy dog face and say please. I mean, even after she dropped you, she still got you wrapped around her finger. Mm, dude, my man Robbie's just being like, ah. Uh. Manipulated in every single way, dude. I like, I, I feel so bad for Robbie. This kid's gonna grow up to like have like major PTSD, man. Like between Johnny, Sam, inexplicably, you know, messing with his head, and then now, uh, uh, Tori. It's like Jesus, dude. Something I can help you with, bud. You have a Habsburg jawline. <laughs> I've never seen one quite so perfect. My man's getting his ass kicked right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris is gonna go crazy. So you did mention something about a karate team once. Um, what was it called again? The Vipers? Cobra Kai. <laughs> That's adorable. I had no idea you had a karate face. It's a way of life. <laughs> you can leave it for a while. But it's always there. But it never really leaves mm -hmm. you. It's in here and in here. Mostly in your muscles, though, you know. Now, everyone, close your eyes and relax. Stop whining like a little bitch. Get <laughs> <laughs> Eliminate all other distractions in your life. Stay focused. Punch him in the balls, what the hell is wrong with you? Oh, I, this is not gonna work, is it? <laughs> Sensei Lawrence, sir, may I have a word with you? Oh, at least you're addressing each other as sent. There's still respect though, come on. Walk it off, I tried my best here. There you go, Dasani, love it. Huge fan of Dasani. <laughs> I, I, I always say it, <laughs> still a huge fan of Dasani, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Pass down that legacy. You know, that's the that story. Where Mr. Miyagi's great grandfather taught karate on the Okinawan waterfront. No, be careful with that. <laughs> Why, you think I'm gonna break it? You already broke a door. But who stole Mr. Miyagi's medal? Hey, look, uh, I'm really God. sorry about that. It's never easy to regain trust back, though, Hawk, you know? It sucks, but it's just like, I just hope that Hawk doesn't like. Not that I would ever like call that he would like switch sides again, but it's like, I, I don't want Hawk to ever feel like it's like, oh, I'm so alienated now because I switched sides. Like, yes, it's going to take time for you to like regain your trust or regain the trust of uh, Miyagi-Do, but still, like, I just hope this man doesn't just like, I hope he just keeps fighting and learns a lesson in strength as he continues to gain the trust of these individuals. Can we talk? What? I don't know where I fit in here. Well, what did you expect? You burn bridges with pretty much everyone here. Oh, as soon as I just said that, come on, Root, why would you say? I'm not the one who's been kicking his ass all day. We're training for the All Valley, not some yoga competition. Hey, don't disrespect my dojo in front of your student. Oh God, uh, 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 oh, don't. So I'll do whatever the hell I want. I know what you're doing. Oil and water, huh? Oil and water. Yeah, why not just like Johnny and Danny just train together then at this point, like learn something from each other? Robbie. Uh. Uh, this could go either way. I was really angry at you for what happened at the school. Believe me, I never yeah. stopped Rightfully caring so. about you. Never stopped caring about Miguel either. I know. I thought that that was over. There's nothing complicated about it. It's a choice and you chose. But that doesn't mean that you have to make the wrong choice. Yeah, relationships can be complicated, dude. My dad also had a choice. And he chose to become a drunk loser who still hasn't figured out his own life. Your dad is trying to change. Mine is too. If you could just come back, it could really help bring everybody together. Oh, Sam, you can't approach a situation like this, though. I get to be the first person to ever tell you this. You're not getting what you want. Okay. This was your choice. Ooh, the Uno reverse right back at her. <laughs> right back at him. <laughs> Establish a friendship first and foremost. Don't come out swinging being like, you got to come back to the dojo, you know? Hey, let's hang out. Let's do something. Let's talk this through rather than just like, because of course, Rob's going to, uh, Robbie's going to feel like he's be, uh, just being used or he just uh, is being talked to because it's like, oh, I'm a... I'm good at karate. No, dude, you gotta establish a relationship first. I'm doing just fine. Are you? Because the Terry Silver that I <laughs> yeah, right. would have roundhouse old four eyes back there for calling Cobra Kai adorable. We went through hell watching our friends die. Together, we made a difference. We did. Well, we can do it again. 
There's a whole yeah, past tense. Now. We tried so hard and got so far, man. Danny boy? He's even teamed up with Oh, shit. Johnny Lawrence. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did this pique his interest? I say... No. Cool. Well, see you later. Back in the 80s... We did tons of cocaine. <laughs> I was so hopped up on cocaine. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I knew there was something to this guy. Terrorizing a teenager over a high school karate tournament. I'm so glad they like, oh, that's so mad at you that they're calling it out. I love it. Got my ass into therapy. Good for you. You know what? Found clarity. Good for you, Terry, man. You know, see, Terry, what a prime example of, like, not only is he like, you know, was he uh, uh, physically in shape, but sometimes you gotta be mentally in shape. You know, people expect men of our age to pack it in, go off into the sunset. Yeah, pack it up, pack it in. But I still have some fight left in me. Damn, calling you out. Please thank Cheyenne for the trophy. Ooh, AKA, you bitch. That's kind of, dude, that's pretty five head though of Crease, man. Just like playing to like the weakness of like Terry right now. I mean, but like you could still eat tofu and have good strength, though. Oh, too late for a pop in. I know we got off on the wrong foot, and I'm sorry. Yes, you should be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can hash things. Hey, up. brought to you by Coors, the beer of champions. Him. <laughs> oh God, the juices, the juice is loose. Deli meat, though. I fuck with deli meat. I love it. I think that it's time that you officially join Miyagi Do. Wait, what? Uh, Why the hell should I join yours? Create something new, boys. Miyagi Fang, Eagle Do. You know what? I haven't mentioned one word about the fact that you're driving around in a stolen car from one of my lots. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk, man. Be friends first. That's the theme of this episode right now, friends. All right? We gotta have a, a, a relationship first. You know, if this is final, then we're gonna have to tell the kids. I'll tell them tomorrow. You can't just give up this fast, guys. Come on. We still got four beers left. What's up, Hawk? Uh, Hawk. Homeboy. Uh, ho 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 hold up. Wait a minute. What are we doing, Hawk? Hawk, I was just kidding at the beginning of the episode. Please, for the love of God. Get a load of this chump. What are you doing? Get the hell out of here, man. Now who says we even want you? Uh, you did? <laughs> yeah, yeah, earlier in the episode? You if any of you can land a hit, I'll go. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah, see, you remember this shit. <laughs> Already episode one, man. Coming out swinging. There you go, there you go, there you go. Uh, uh, double up. What's up, Tori, huh? What's up now, huh, baby girl? Any more questions? Yeah. Deuces. I do the deal. No. Yeah, I'd rather you be on our team. <laughs> you just fucked us all up. Man, was it influenced because of Sam? Sam! Thank you for being a friend. Oh. Hey, stand back, it's coming down! Hey, what are you doing? You were both right. Talk is cheap, so... Was oh, he creating I'm more space? Bridge. Well, more specifically, an Okinawan sparring deck. Yes, Hawk, you beautiful mother. Oh, God, that is- Zooming our sensei's approve. Dog, oh, that got me good. That was a great curveball. Yeah, we can't we can't split up the band now. Yeah. Woo! Dude, that was brilliantly played. <laughs> I fell down that rabbit hole pretty freaking good. First, I didn't want to join Cobra Kai, but eventually, all but I got nowhere else to go. And to beat the enemy, it helps to know the enemy's playbook. That's why I'm gonna teach you Miyagi Do Karate. Oh, fuck me. So we can beat Miyagi. Um, is that really gonna, is that really gonna work though? Like Danny, uh, Danny LaRusso's had like years and years of experience. Like I, I you've been there for what, like a year? Like, you <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you could teach him shit, but I'm sure like Danny LaRusso is like a little bit more proficient at Miyagi Do. Ooh. He still got it. He still got it. 
Uh, was that like an expensive bottle of wine, by the way? You probably shouldn't be kicking shit like that. Also, too, Terry, you're like, you know, a good, like, what, 70 years old? How old are you? Like, you might have pulled a hip there. <laughs> Episode one coming out swinging, coming out roundhouse kicking, I should say. Um, I gotta say, dude, I love how they, like, played on, like, well, at least for me, right? Not, like, watching an episode of Cobra Kai in, like, a couple of months. I love how they played on my whole apprehensiveness on, um, on Hawk. And, you know, really kind of painting this, like, picture throughout the episode of, like, oh, you turned your back on us, you messed with Miyagi-Do, you broke things, you stole, uh, like, uh, memorabilia, uh, and instilling this whole, like, notion of, like, oh, it's going to take a while for us to regain the trust and whatnot. And then to see him with that sledgehammer dog, I thought he was coming out and just going to go crazy. Part of me thought, like, oh, maybe he's coming back from, like, Cobra Kai, and he fucked up the dojo there, and then... Once they caught back there, I was like, oh, shit. Like, what a brilliant play. And the fact that they showed us earlier in the episode where it's like, oh, it's the, um, what do you call it? The uh, training waiting pool thing that Mr. Miyagi, um, uh, uh, you know, trained on or whatever it was. Um, the fact that they showed us earlier in the episode through that picture. And then, like, he goes and, like, breaks down the barriers. And that, ooh, that's a great metaphor. Hawk breaking down the fence to create something new is, like, breaking down this barrier of, distrust and dishonesty that he once had a part of Cobra Kai. <laughs> We're reaching, aren't we, dude? Um, yeah, dude. I love the brother dynamic between, like, LaRusso, though. Uh, I keep calling him LaRusso because Johnny keeps calling him. Uh, between Danny and Johnny um, is, like, no one ever said that was going to be easy, right? Like, it was established, obviously, at the end of season three. Uh, and then coming into season four, I, I kind of already knew, like, again, how I mentioned it, like, oil and water working together. Like, it it will blend or it will mix, but eventually it will separate. Um, and it's just funny how we're kind of seeing, though, the students of Danny and Johnny sort of bridging that gap of their hatred or their uh, 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 their maliceness towards one another. And it's, it's great that, uh, again, like the students kind of picking up the reins or taking the reins from the master to kind of steer the boat kind of uh, in, in, in like a better direction, so to speak, right? Um, so it's cool. I really love that dynamic. And I was, you know, again, how the episode kind of like, you know, tease you a little bit of like, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? What's going to happen? Yada, yada, yada. Um, and then, dude, like, uh, like I get Robbie. I get what he's doing, you know, obviously. But like, <laughs> for me, I'm just like, that's why I'm laughing. Because I'm like, dude, you learned, you, you, t you were taught like only what, like barely a year, if anything, from like Danny. And it's like. I'm sure you had some history in karate and you know a little bit, you picked up on a little bit of what he taught you, but it's like, again, uh, LaRusso's got like years of experience that like, and as, uh, as well too, the the new techniques that he learned from, uh, what's it called, Chosen from season three, I'm sure like that's obviously now a, uh, something that he's got in his back pocket that he's gonna kind of teach. So yeah, it's kind of, <clears throat> it's a little funny that it's like, you know, of course, like now uh, uh, Bobby um, or Robbie's gonna like teach them like the Kai technique and whatnot. So. I get it. Really gonna see uh, how this is gonna like break down because I, I feel like it's gonna be, um, again, like a battle between Robbie eventually and Miguel and then Tori and Sam uh, to see, again, I, I, I had this like, I think this is gonna be the running theme throughout this whole season. Water and oil. Oil and vinegar, vinegar and water. What is it? What the what are the, the, the two solutions that don't mix well? You know what I mean, you get the reference, okay? Uh, anyway, guys, really, at the end of the day, what more can I say about this? We are, well, on our track into season four, Cobra Kai. Uh, again, I'm not really sure when I'm gonna be releasing these. I'm in the process of, you know, editing a lot more stuff and whatnot, so I really can't say for sure when, but I guess until we meet again in the next one, I'm still just some Joe Schmo, and these are our Cobra Kai reactions, y'all. Until next time, peace out.